what is up loves welcome back to my channel it is your girl naomi if you're new here what's up what's goody welcome to the channel i am naomi here on my channel i like to do natural hair vlogs beauty lifestyle as well as a sprinkle of commentary so if you're interested make sure you go ahead and subscribe down below and if you're not new here say with me hey girl hey so i'm back with another hair video this is kind of like a part two but not really a part two to my last video of me doing my wash day this is going to be me styling a new wash and go combo the wash and go combo that i'm presenting with you guys today it is going to be the pillow soft curls from miss jessie's as well as the curl maker from camille rose i love these two products together they literally have my hair defined as you guys can see you know my hair is looking really defined and it gives my hair like a nice fluffy wash and go but still defined i don't lose definition but i still have volume so i'm going to be showcasing a new wash and go this is actually probably now one of my go-to wash and goes so i want to show that with you guys as well as i'm going to be doing a pop of color i know i already have color treated hair right now and so this color didn't show up that much but it definitely gave my curls a different look to them i'm using the as i am color curl color this is in the color bold gold so i used this today um and i really liked how my wash and go came out even the color it gave a lighter ginger color with the hints of like honey in it so i really like that so let's go ahead and get into this wash and go so let's just go ahead and get into this wash and go um i don't know how this lighting is going to look because i am using some softbox so this is my first time using softbox in my video um I used it for like a reel that I did, so I hope it came out really nice. But um, yeah, so this is what my hair is looking like with no gel in it, just the um, the Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls. And then we're going to go ahead and apply the, the, the curl makeup right on top. I like to just rake this in. In the front, I'm going to do a little bit more definition because my hair is... As you guys know, I'm your girl's running on damaged curls, okay? I'm definitely running on some damaged curls. I'm not gonna put too much of the curl maker just because I know, I just kinda know how it works a little bit. And this is gonna give me like a nice fluffy wash and go. Look at that. It's gonna give a nice little fluffy wash and go. All right. Boom. Cool. All right. So I'm just going to allow some music to play. All right, guys, so I kind of did that really quick. My time is running out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and apply the, if I can open it. <laughs> um, I'm running on borrowed time, y'all. But I really wanted to film this video because I haven't done like a hair video in a minute, especially an up-to-date hair video. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the bold gold. This is what it's looking like. So I hope this comes out nice because, you know, my hair is already colored. So it might just add like a another like layer of maybe highlights to my hair. We're going to go straight in with my hands like that. It's definitely going to give probably not what I expect, but um, we're just going to see what it gives. OK, we're just going to see what it gives. So I'm going to go in with a good little amount because I want this to like look really cute. 
I'm just gonna rake it in the same way I did the gel. I'm just gonna rake it in. One thing I hope this doesn't flake. I haven't watched any reviews on this on the colors before, so I hope it doesn't flake up my wash and go because this wash and go is bomb and there's no way I'm risking my wash and go for some hair color. See, I should have slick did my hair before I left. Oh, like way before I left. But I was trying to be cute. Okay. Towards adding some color, you know what I'm saying? Just gonna add it to the ends and then a little bit up front. Just a little bit up front. I'm gonna apply some like Kind of not sparingly, but kind of sparingly. Oh, and I need to get a trim because my ends are giving very much so dainty. All right, so I put applied color to this side. So we're gonna go ahead and apply color to this side. So as you guys can see, it's a little bit more elongated because it's a little bit heavier. That's the color. This is my original color. Original color, bold gold. Okay, cool. We're just going to print your hands method slash break this thing in. Probably wasn't the best idea to do this literally right before I need to go out, but um, not gonna stop me. It's not gonna stop me. I'm just gonna have to wear this towel on me while I'm out. <laughs> Still not gonna stop me. Alright, y'all. So let's just kind of ease it up to the front a little bit. Alright. I don't know how that's looking in the back. I hope it's enough. Um oh, let me put some in the rear of my hair like that. Okay, boom. I'm just gonna put like the rest kind of just sparing. All right, so I can already tell this is gonna come off like, just like a little bit of like a tint, not a much. Um, I'm just gonna let my hair dry while I'm out and I will check in when my hair is somewhat dry. I really wanted to blow dry my hair today, but because I'm gonna be out for a couple hours, I'm just gonna let it air dry like I typically do and then I'll go back in and I'll blow dry the rest. So I will see you guys. I'll see you guys when my hair is dry. All right, guys. So this is how my wash and go came out. So we're talking day three hair. I will show a clip of me having day one hair. Literally, the color's kind of faded now. Like it's still a little bit in there, but it's still a little faded. Um, but I really liked it. My wash and go came out really nice. So I the first night I didn't stretch it. I literally just put in a pineapple and kept it how it was. Second night I did the same thing. And then last night I decided to band my hair at the roots and it definitely kind of just stretched it just a tad bit. But as the days go on it will definitely stretch even more. So let me give you guys an up close look at my curls. So yeah, so my curls are really defined. They're not like crunchy and they're not like, um, they're not undefined. They're definitely defined. I love this combo because it definitely gives me the definition as well as giving me the volume of what I want. Now, um, I do have to do have to stretch this side a little bit more than I do this side because this one kind of like drops on its own. This side, I think when I cut my hair and I gave myself a DIY haircut, literally, I think I cut a little too much on this side. So it is a little bit harder for me to match up each side. But I really love this wash and go. My hair doesn't feel like dry or anything. My curls stay intact, especially when I stretch it, it still stays intact. Now the color has faded. 
um, because, you know, obviously a girl's been in the gym and, you know, I have to bend my hair and stuff like that. So the color, some of the color did have some residue like on the equipment that I was using. I did wash, I did clean it off. So don't worry about that. But it kind of leaves a little bit of residue on your clothing. But all in all, I'm still like my wash and go is hands down really good. I've been getting a lot of compliments. You know, my coworkers are like, oh, your girls are popping. I'm like, I know they are. Thank you. Thank you. And it's, I'm literally telling everybody about these products like i told everybody about these products because i'm just like hello they are pretty expensive i think the curl maker retails for like 20 22 and i think the same thing for the pillow soft curls um it is expensive but it's definitely worth it i brought this like a couple of weeks ago i did this combo i was like oh i have to fit this for you guys so that is that um now my thoughts on this I don't know because I already have color treated hair it didn't show up as nicely as I wanted to show up on my hair but I'm not mad at it because of the simple fact that I do already have color treated hair um I was gonna go with the copper color but I was like it doesn't make sense my hair is already ginger ish so I was like it wouldn't make any sense so I was like okay let me go for like a lighter shade I didn't want to do like the greens blues or purples or, or reds because my hair is slightly looking red anyway I could have did the red actually now that I think about it I could have done red but um yeah I just went with the bold gold so that is what I went with and I'm not mad at it I definitely will be using it again um maybe for either like a twist out or maybe a braid out or something like that if I'm feeling a little funky I'm gonna throw this in there but overall you guys see the wash and go like i don't have to say anything else y'all see it y'all see the wash and go is super defined and even the curl pieces in front of my face you guys know that's my damage part literally my hair is defined like it is a little looser but it's still defined and that's why i'm just like mm, chef's kiss definitely chef's kiss so guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you're not subscribed go ahead and do so if you are subscribed hey girl hey i will check you guys in my next video peace out